Hello and welcome to Meet Sector 7. My name is Rizzo and I'm a founder of Sector 7. Today I'm gonna do a quick video about PEC tool. Before we jump into the main topic, just a quick reminder that we have recently launched a new online course about escalating privileges in Windows. So if you're interested, uh, you can find a link under the video. And of course, our malware development training is also online. So recently we did a quick poll about a tool called PSEV to see how many people use it and actually how they use it, okay? So, and it appears that there are a lot of people who are not very familiar with that tool. Uh, so I decided to change that and record that quick video uh, about PSEV. So PSEV is a tool developed by Hashar Zaid, uh, who's a malware analyst. Uh, and one of the uh, things malware analyst does is unpacking malicious samples, which is a tedious task, right? So Hasharazay decided to create a tool which will unpack the sample automatically, right? After some time, she started adding more functionality, uh, which was mainly detecting process injections, uh, like uh, PE hollowing or module hollowing or uh, doppelganger. Uh, or some shellcode injections and, so, and, and other interesting uh, techniques. So what I want to do today is to show you how blue teamers can use it, okay? And also how red teamers or penetration testers should use it as well. So let's jump into a demonstration VM to see PEC in action. So let's see how the PEC works. So I, oh, I have prepared a small demonstration with uh, material from uh, one of our courses, a malware development course. So I'm going to be uh, using an injection, a uh, process injection we developed during um, the last uh, project in MALDEV uh, course. So uh, for those who don't know, we created a dropper which, um, uh, contain, which uses encrypted uh, payload stored in resources uh, section and when it's running it will grab that um, encrypted payload decrypt that and inject that into the explorer.exe so now i'm going to be using the same uh, code although i have changed that a little bit so for the demonstration the dropper or the implant as i call it will create a new process uh, that is notepad.exe and it will inject the payload into that process. And our payload for the demonstration will be a reverse TCP simple uh, shellcode, which will uh, connect back to our listener. And as, as the listener, I'm gonna be using uh, SOCAT, which will, um, listen on the port 12093 and for all any any incoming connections so let's do that um, so let's first let me first show you my who am i so i'm running as rto user okay and i'm in the socat um, folder so let me start the socat so it is running here. And now I want to run this uh, implant uh, as other user, as admin user. So for that, I will use run as and user admin and implant classic. Uh, the, the name comes from the classic um, injection technique, which is virtual alloc. Um, on the remote process, then writing the payload there and using create remote thread uh, API to run the shellcode on the in, in the remote process. So let's run it. So our um, uh, our Notepad is running as with speed uh, fifty one sixty eight. Okay, now Notepad is running. So now, as you can see, Notepad has established a connection to a remote port 12093, uh, which is here, SOCAT. And now we are admin, okay? So the connection is established. 
and our um, process is running uh, our uh, session is running and let me show you the layout of uh, notepad so I have uh, sorted by protection to, s to show you that there is one memory region which is uh, readable and executable which doesn't have any file mapped from the disk which actually contains our shellcode okay this is our reverse TCP shellcode so once it's running let's run um, PEC on PID 5168 and let's tell it to uh, look for shellcode and also uh, the, the option data means that it will also investigate all the data sections uh, in notepad process okay so let's run it and as you can see it has found something implanted so we have um, suspicious something suspicious in not, uh, notepad uh, process so let's go to f5 let's go to uh, the so this folder is created by PEC when it finds something and it reports uh, this finding in that folder and a couple of files so um, file with that uh, strange name dot shc contains the um, the, the shellcode or the, or the whole memory region dumped from the process from the net notepad process to a file so if we open it it's just that really garbage here um, and if you open the scan so the first so the report is in a JSON uh, format so you get this information is actually the same as here but more detailed information is that the uh, from the scan working set scan uh, it has found one shellcode it is not a PE file but it's a shellcode okay and protection on the memory is 20 in hex so it means it's uh, readable and writable uh, excuse me readable and executable and this is actually the mo uh, the module uh, uh, address or the memory region address so let me show you that here so it's 2d132f and it's exactly the same address okay so uh, as you can see PEC is pretty good at catching uh, injected shellcode and it's just like a small piece of um, uh, shellcode right so for, for, as, for me as a red teamer is a problem because I don't want when I'm running an, an engagement I don't want to be exposed anyhow so every time new uh, PEC version comes out I, I download that and try to figure out if I can uh, find any method to inject my, my um, uh, payload into a remote uh, process and, and still being undetected so let me demonstrate to you that here so let's close that let's close that okay let's start up our listener again and now I'm gonna run a different version of the implant which does the, the very same thing so it uh, creates a notepad process and then injects that in a different way uh, the, the, the the very same shellcode okay so let's run it it's running bit uh, 1056 the, connect, the connection is established we can verify it here yep and now let's run uh, let's run PC over that process which is 1056 and now we can it, it didn't found anything right so if, if we go to and uh, examine the process memory there is no such memory region mapped so 
I have developed another way to uh, to inject the the shellcode and still being able uh, to be undetected by PC. So that's it. Uh, I hope you now know what PECV is and if you are a blue teamer I highly encourage you to use uh, use that tool uh, during your hunting sessions. Um, you can also use Hole Hunter actually which is um, a sort of wrapper around PECV which invest when, it, when you run, run Hole Hunter it will uh, run PECV on every process on your machine you are investigating okay so you don't have to create any special uh, scripts for you know uh, d running um, PC if whole hunter is there for you to, to use. I also ha encourage uh, every red teamer and penetration tester to use PEC to see how your OPSEC looks like uh, if you are in um, like if you are undetected or can be detected and um, do whatever you need to stay um, you know under the radar all right. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, you can find all the links below the, 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 this video. Uh, please leave your comments. And as always, see you next time.